I don't know how to buy a house. I've never purchased a house before. I don't even know where to start. Hi everyone, my name is Michael. I am a real estate agent here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And today I'm here to give you the steps on how to purchase a home. I wanna make a quick video explaining the home buying process, just going through the steps, so you have something to look back quick and easy. Sorry for the glare, but these are the steps I'm going to be going over today. You can pause or screenshot. I wanna make this video quick with some commentary so my viewers know where they are at in the home buying process and what's coming next. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. So let's jump into the steps of buying a home. The first step of the home buying process is meeting with your realtor. This is an initial consultation slash conversation of what type of home you're looking for and what to expect in the near future. Once you've made the decision who you are working with, the agent will have you sign a document called called a buyer broker agreement. This just states that you two are working together and the agent cannot show a property unless they have this document signed. The second step in the process would be speaking to a lender to get your pre-approval. You have the choice to choose the lender like you did with your agent, or you might go with somebody that your realtor has recommended. The lender will then send you a loan application, then later ask for more personal documents to complete the pre-approval process. On a side note, if you live in an area where there is a lot of new construction, like Las Vegas, we are booming with new construction. Everywhere you go, you see brand new neighborhoods. I would always recommend keeping those documents because if you are considering a new construction home, you might have to go through the process of changing lenders. And the reason for that is because new construction communities often give out great incentives to buyers depending on the market. This can range on a multitude of things between cash to close, a rate buy down, or a credit towards a design studio. And this is why I say hold on to these documents because you don't necessarily have to change your lender through the process, but to get these incentives, you have to use the lender approved by the new construction community. And then you do the application and process again. However, if you have a great relationship with this lender and it hurts to let them go, you can always reach out to them to refinance or send them a referral. Sometimes that kind of sucks, but depending on the market, some lenders can't compete. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of a lot. So the third step in the home buying process is looking for your dream home. Yay! This is usually the fun part and you'll be in constant contact with your lender and realtor going over options and payment breakdowns for each specific home. And then we move on to our fourth step, which is writing offers and getting them approved. Your agent should be in contact with the other agent to make sure that your offer is more desirable and to get this accepted. In this process, your offer can get approved, countered or rejected. And typically this process takes a few days. Once the offer is accepted, the agents will then open up escrow. The next step in the process is to wire over your earnest money. You will have two business days to do this. This is when I get the most questions from buyers because this is when it starts to really feel real. The title company will give you wire instructions. You take that to the bank and the bank should help you with the rest of the transfer. This is the buyer's good faith explaining to the seller that they really want the property and now the seller can take it off the market. The seller will then order the HOA resale package which the buyer will eventually get and this explains everything you need to know about the HOA. This could usually take a few days or a week. However, it usually is in within the due diligence period. The sixth step in the home buying process would be to schedule the home inspection. This is an expense that the buyer pays for and it usually costs anywhere between three to $800, depending on how big the house is. Once we get that home inspection back, which is usually right away, I've never seen it take longer than a day. The buyer and the agent will review it and go over what's important. Then we will request and negotiate the seller to make necessary repairs. Unfortunately, this is typically where a lot of deals end up dying. A lot of people can't come to an agreement when it comes to repair. And this is still happening very early on in the transaction during your due diligence period. The buyer still has time to think if they really do want this property. Now we are on to our ninth, 10th, and 11th step, which is the lender ordering the appraisal, the appraisal taking place and us getting the value and us negotiating the terms of the appraisal depending on if it's too low. This is an important process because at the end of the day, the bank is the one that is determining the value of the property. For example, if we go under contract for a property that is $500,000 and the bank comes back and tells us that it's worth $450,000, we are going to have to come up with the rest of the $50,000. However, if the opposite occurs and we go under contract for a property that's $500,000 and the appraisal comes back at $510,000, we are walking into the property with 10K in equity. The 12th step of this whole process would be work with the lender to get the final loan approval. It's important to note that during this entire process, you are not taking out any debt or buying anything big because you are pre-approved on your debt to income ratio. You 
don't wanna have any new debts that are gonna throw off this transaction. After our 13th step would be signing closing disclosures from the lender. And on average, three days before closing, we will conduct our final walkthrough to make sure everything is perfect. If things are not perfect, we can push the final close date, but we are hoping that everything is perfect right here. We're close to the end. Our 15th step would be wiring all the remaining funds left needed to close. It's gonna be done the same way that you wired over your initial earnest money deposit. The title company is going to send over wire instructions and you're gonna do the same thing. Step 16, we will then schedule and sign all closing documents at the title company. In step 17, you will get your keys and enjoy your home. Yay! Then you can buy furniture or anything big or take out any debts, but make sure the keys are in your hand. And I wanna say thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate everyone who watched this. I sell real estate here in Nevada and I want to help you with your real estate goals here in Las Vegas. I wanted to make this video so you had something quick to look back on. You can play it in fast motion or just keep it saved in the back of your pocket. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. You can reach out to me personally through all the information listed below. I make Las Vegas and real estate related content. And thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.